Wait, it's here? Balance is here? Okay, okay, wait, no spoilers, no spoilers. No spoilers, no spoilers. All right. Ban list. Here we go. Y'all ready? Let's do this shit. In three, two, one. Wait, what? Wait, we got skill rebalancing first? Okay, wait, let's look at skills first. This is kind of cool. Shadow Weaving Power. This skill's second effect can be used only once per duel if all the monsters in your deck are Shadows or Spellcasters. At the beginning of duel, choose two Shadow trap cards from your deck at random and send them to the grave. Ah. And add one Winda to your extra deck and three Shadow Fusions and one Schism to your deck. During your main phase one, shuffle one Shadow card from your graveyard or among your banished cards into the deck. Okay, so they really buffed Shadow Weaving Power now. Now, um, you can shuffle one Shadow card from your graveyard or your banished cards into the deck. Before, it was one Shadow monster, so you can grab your um, your fusion, you can grab any tra spell and trap Shadow card, and shuffle it back into your deck. That's pretty cool. And also, in addition, you can choose two Shadow trap cards from your deck at random and send them to the grave, which is really nice. So it lowers the uh, it lowers the fact that you can brick if you go first, especially if you go first with Shadows because they like going second and being able to really take advantage of their Shadow fusion. So really, really nice, uh, nice little buff. I think Mix and Yami Yoda will be really happy because <laughs> they've been playing Shadows a lot. So. Uh, let's see, Servant of Dawn. Um, I don't even know what the skill does. Can only use if your deck contains five or more normals with 1,500 more defense. Oh, it's a rush skill, right? Okay, yeah, we don't really care too much about rush that much. Plus, this skill kind of sucks. Hell Tuning Invasion. Oh, boy. So, all monsters on the field become attack position until the end of the turn. The level of four or lower fiends become five, and the level of five or higher decrease by four. And then you can't attack with monsters that are level 6 and lower. It's another rush skill, by the way. But this one's really broken, so that's why I'm going over it. Um, so you make two face-up level 4 or lower fiends on your field become 5. Until the end of the turn. Then you can choose up to two monsters on your opponent's field. If you do make face-up monsters chosen become level 4 until the end of the turn and change face-down defense position monsters to face up attack. During this turn, you can only attack with monsters with 2300 to 4000 attack. Wow, that is the most confusing thing I've ever read. Um, so basically, they made it so it's not completely broken anymore. You can just flip two face up monsters on the field uh, into attack mode on your opponent's field. So you don't get to just board wipe them completely. Okay, so they kind of nerfed it a little bit, which I appreciate. Um, but uh, I guess we'll see how that goes with um, if we actually get back into Rush Duels. Anyway, here we go. Forbidden and Limited Lists. This is the first time actually we got a skill rebalancing and a Forbidden List at the same time. They haven't done this in a while, so it's kind of weird. Here we go. No longer on the list. Wow, they're starting off with no longer on the list first. That's kind of crazy. I'm already seeing Altergeist Mail You Seek off the list. That's huge. That's huge. I know Altergeist players will be happy. Non-Altergeist players will be salty. Uh, but <laughs> Mail You Seek is coming home. Um, that's beautiful. Uh, and Tour Guide from the Underworld is coming home. So you, now you can make a stronger BA deck or pretty much anything else that abuses this girl. That's really cool. So very nice. Um, Starry Night Blast is off the list. I, I mean, Starry Nights were not really doing much, but that's pretty cool. Now you can run more of these, I guess. It's just another tap in the gate. So um, interesting. Okay. Galactic Spiral Dragon is no longer on the list, so they <laughs> they uh, they realized that they hit um, Tachyon a little too strong, and now they removed it from the list. Um, interesting. 
I mean, I'm I, still with the skill change, it's still not going to be as consistently strong. But now you can, you know, tech in more crackdowns and whatnot, you know. So they they did that. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Rhino Bus is finally off the list. After such a long time, Rhino Bus is finally off the list. Wow. Uh, this card was the bane of everyone's existence during the Onomat meta. If you remember when Onomats were tier 0, Rhino Bus was everywhere. Oh boy. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, are Sidra still on the list? Yes or no? I guess we'll find out if we keep scrolling down. Nina Ruru, the Magistus Glass Goddess, is off the list. I mean, that's fine. No one's really using BLS like that anyway, anymore. So, whatever, that's fine. DD Savant Thomas is off the list. So they really want people to use Triple Ds. Um, I guess Triple Ds really saw no use at all. So they're like, hey, the fact that we took Giant Trainer uh, to one didn't really change the fact that Triple Ds still don't give a shit. So now they're giving you guys more reason to use Triple Ds. Um, pretty interesting. I don't know how that's going to really change how people play Triple Ds like that, but I guess we'll see. And Demian is also off the list. Okay, that's kind of a problem, actually. Just this being off the list, I could see, but the fact that they also removed this might see more of, uh, you know, some nonsense with with this guy, and I don't know. This I don't know if it was too early to take this guy off the list. Yeah, the BLS engine is kind of back. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but uh, I don't like this. I don't like the fact that this guy's off the list that early. That's it. Bruh, Cyber, <laughs> Cyber Dragons are never going to come off the list, are they? Really? No, Cyber Dragons are just forever on the list. Okay, um, Rush Tool is no longer on the list. This guy, we don't give a shit. Sport Dragon Pitcher, we don't really give a shit. Um, that'll be all for this time? What? 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 You've got to be kidding me. There's nothing else? No, no, S Spack. I don't think so, bro. I think this is the official list. I no, cuz they always they always release these together. The no longer on the lists and the limited lists. They've never separated it before. So there's no reason to believe that they separated it on purpose. I don't think so. I, they just they just didn't hit anything. Meliseek was at limit 3 before. Are you are you really going to leave Mizuki unlimited? With Burial from a different dimension unlimited and Shirinui's still smoking that hashish on ladder? This is the worst thing we've ever gotten. Cyber Dragons still fooked. Burial Unlimited, Mizuki Unlimited, Blue Eyes Untouched, <sighs> wow, 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 wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm happy for the stuff that's off the list. Great. Uh, except for this guy. I don't know how that's gonna... And except for this guy. And maybe this guy. But literally, nothing else is touched, huh? Nothing. Nothing is touched. The deck is still new. So they're buffing decks. Okay, but what about Shiranui, bro? What about Shiranui? Shiranui has been here for far too long. What about you, Bell? What about Eternal Bond? Why is Eternal Bond still here? People hate the shit out of that skill, bro. They're sick of you, Bell. Why is why is you, Bell, still here? I like I, I could I could totally see them not hitting Blue Eyes because you know they have a freaking boner for Blue Eyes. I get that. That's their money maker. That's their nostalgia boner. I get that. But seriously, what about the rest? Like, do they not want to admit that they're wrong? Like, I get it, Konami has a huge ego, but you have to admit when you're wrong, bro. Mizuki and this bullshit zombie skill is wrong. It's just plain wrong. Blue Eyes not being a once per turn skill to grab whatever the hell they want is wrong. I mean, my, my, my guess is that they're releasing a new box soon, which might power creep whatever's going on. But still, like, you're telling us we have to deal with the same bullshit from this Casey Cup again next season? No, nothing was touched. No, Battle, Battle Chronic was not nerfed. The only thing that they did was they buffed um, Shadows, which is pretty cool. That's that, honestly pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very nice. Shadows deserve to get a little bit of a buff. Very nice. And then two Rush dual skills that really nobody cares about if you don't play Rush. That's it. That's all they did. And cards that are off the list. Nothing has been hit. Nothing new has been hit. Nothing was hit. No, Sky Strikers weren't hit either. Burial, Mizuki, a ghoul for another two months. Yeah, and the annoying zombie trap, probably. Woo! Yo, I mean, I've, I already told you guys, you know, Konami, just monkeys, bro. They're just monkeys, bro. They're monkeys in trench coats working at their headquarters, sticking bananas where the sun don't shine. That's what they do. That's just what they do. And this just solidifies it. It just solidifies it, bro. They do not play their own game. What is this list? It's a bullshit list. That's what it is. It's absolutely one of the worst things we've ever seen. Oh boy. Oh man, dude. <laughs> oh boy, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. It's actually nuts. Hey man. You know what they say. You know what Konami likes to say. Thank you for playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links.